John C. I was supposed to go change my shirt after that intro because I don't usually do videos in my pajamas. I don't give a fuck anymore. The intro that you saw was my second attempt at doing it. The first time when I jumped, I smashed my left butt cheek on my fucking desk, throwing the desk into the wall. And I, I'm still in pain right now. My left butt cheek is throbbing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I bruised the shit out of it. So I don't usually do this, but if this video can get 10 likes, 10 likes within the first hour, I will upload that first fucking fail. But yeah, so if this video can get 10 likes within the first hour, I will upload that. That was a double upload today. I knocked my fucking ass so hard, I'm surprised it didn't fuck up my memory of what I was about to talk about in today's video. But I had a really, really, really fucking cool dream last night. And honestly, I don't remember how it started, so maybe that did fuck up my brain. Ah, fuck it, we'll just skip the beginning. I honestly completely forgot how the fuck it started. I'm trying to think of the least confusing way I can explain this to you guys. Because starting it is probably the hardest part of explaining this. Once I get it started, It'll be fucking easy, but basically near the end of the dream. I figured out that we were on vacation I'm not sure if at the beginning of the dream we were still going on vacation But I was on vacation with my family my cousins and part of my cousin's family I'm not sure where we went. We just went to some hot place with this beautiful resort The first thing I remember we were in space. Yeah, you heard that correctly We were in outer fucking space and it was some mixture of a plane and rocket ship or some kind of fucking Ship, and we were flying through space in this thing. We were just trying to find a livable location or a livable planet. And we were flying through a bunch of different areas. There were a bunch of areas where there's a lot of turbulence. I don't know what the fuck you call it when you're in space, but for example, when you're on a plane and it starts shaking or going up and down, whatever, turbulence. That's basically what happened. It was like, a, I don't know, some kind of space storm where there was a lot of wind, but it wasn't wind because it was in space. I don't know what the fuck it was. And there were just some hard areas to get through, but we kept plowing through. And it was crazy because there was just these areas of empty, just black black space that we would go through. I don't remember who was driving, but they knew exactly what they were doing. They were like, oh, we're on the highway now or whatever. It was weird, but I remember them saying, oh, we're on the highway, this, that. And the weird and cool part about it is that there were little stars. Like, for example, you know when you're on the highway and you have, like, the concrete barriers or the steel barriers? The stars were like that. They were just in a line, just telling you where the fucking barriers were, where the road was. So we were just following that, like a regular road you would follow on the, on the road. And every once in a while, we'd come up to a solar Solar system with a bunch of planets and we'd I'd physically see all the planets in there the different colored planets and all that And there was this one solar system we came up to and apparently it was the one that we were trying to find So we get into the solar system and I guess we land on one of the planets There was about maybe six or seven maybe eight of them and this part's a little bit weird So it's kind of gonna be hard to explain I just wish I could show you what I saw or what I am seeing because I can still see it It's just kind of hard to explain something visual We basically landed on this planet and it was all like sandy or dirt area and everything was empty it was at night by the way so everything was empty except this little circle there was this little circle that we eventually got to and there were a bunch of people in this circle and apparently during the nighttime that is the only place you can be on the planet is within this circle or else you'll die or something I don't know what the hell was wrong with the rest of the planet but during nighttime, only at night, in the daytime you can go wherever the fuck you want, but only at nighttime you can only be within this circle. I guess in a way you can call it the circle of life. So I remember being in this circle and then the next thing I remember it was daytime and this planet that we were on turned into like this city. I remember being in this building, sort of like a cottage or a hotel. And I remember there being an arcade somewhere near there. It was all a weird setup and then from the arcade I remember looking down and I'd see into the city and it was a city that I've never really seen before. And then I saw like the flag you know like the country flag but it wasn't a flag that actually existed it was sort of like the Italian and Canadian flag mixed together and then I saw into this boxing arena like there was no roof and I saw there was a freaking fight going on in there but the really really weird part was that we could fly from where we were to the actual resort that we started in and my cousins were in that resort and whatever and it took like two hours of flight time to get to that resort so it was really weird and really stupid like why the fuck would you want to go from this place to take two hours to go to a resort that's basically four hours of your day wasted flying going back to from where you live into the resort So basically near that little circle of life thing that I was talking about It was basically a runway
way for the planes to take off. But like I said, it was a mixture of a plane and a rocket ship. It looked like a plane, but it took off like a rocket ship. It was on these sort of metal hand hinge thingies, and it, it, it was straight up like a rocket ship. And that's how it took off. It took off straight up, and then it would fly like a plane after takeoff. So I never went on the plane. I just saw them taking off, and it was really cool. But it was just weird to think that we were on this planet light years away from Earth, and it only took two hours to get from there back to the original resort. I don't know what the fuck it was. If this was an extension of that resort, or just this dream is all weird and fucked up. But it was just really, really, really cool. I was in motherfucking outer space.